Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So in today's video, I want to show you how to trade gold using four hour. So many people have told me to do gold videos, gold tutorial. And here guys, if you're watching this video, you can be able to trade gold. It doesn't matter if gold is volatile, as much as you can master four hour strategy, trust me, you will be able to trade it. So the first thing that you need to do Whenever you want to trade gold, trade it with a pattern. There are so many patterns. I teach six patterns in my mentorship program that I charge $400. Uh, and the class, by the way, it is starting next. next. Uh, it is starting tomorrow, by the way, for the online class and the physical class, it's starting on Wednesday. So if you're watching this video and you would want to join the mentorship program, you can only, uh, you can WhatsApp me. I will leave my number or you can contact me or you can comment down below in this video. I want to join my membership. Anyway, if you want to master gold, kindly use patterns to trade gold. Don't use your own um, prediction. Don't use your own thoughts. We need facts here. And the best, and the best um, pattern that I love to use is always double tops and double bottoms. Those two patterns they work magic. So double tops and double bottoms, they are good. We still have a um, cup and handle. We still have inverted cup and handle. We still have a ranging channel and a ranging channel break at resistance and ranging channel at support. The other patterns that I teach in my mentorship program, but if you know double top and double bottom, you're good to go. It is evident, let me wrap this. It is evident enough that we have a possible Double top. Guys, can you see that possible double top? Imagine you're trying to trade gold and you find a possible double top. And now this is our neckline. So I uh, will write here possible double top. So this is our possible double top. <clears throat> and then we have our neckline. Follow very closely because if you will learn something, um, this is my neckline. And guys, what did we say when you have a double top? you need to identify your half. You need to identify your half. So let me identify my half like that. So I have three things. My first attempt, second attempt that is forming in my double top, my neckline and my half. And always change your half color to be green so that you can be notified every time you see it that that is my half. Now, if this is my four hour, first I need to flip on daily to see what I'm having. So if I go to daily, see guys, even daily, um, let's see what we have on daily time frame. Let's see what you have on daily time frame. Remember, the minute you identify a pattern on four hour, it's good also to know what is daily doing. And you can see even daily, we might have a possible double top. So this double top, you would be obsessed with it so much because remember daily is still playing a very key role. And that's why I tell people, for people, they think, oh, if it breaks half, it will go to the neckline. But what they don't know, when a pattern is in two time frames, it might never go to the neckline. And that's what I've come to realize. Your work is to check, is this pattern in four hour and also in daily? If one pattern is sharing, like one pattern is in four hour and the same double top, you can see it on daily. Don't be obsessed. This market may not reach up to the neckline. Trust me, this is something I've come to realize. The market may, might not go to the neckline. So the farthest that it can go, if the neckline is broken, is a block. So you can come and try to identify your block because this pattern is in the daily. I know many people don't know that, but now I'm telling you. So this is our order block. So most of the time, when patterns are in two time frames, the same pattern, if you can flip your chart and see or from daily, I have double top, for I have double top, that double top most of the time, it does not go to the neckline on four hour. And if it does, you have to call that you have, um, the minute that you have a uh, pattern in two time frames, most of the time, the market will come, break, it will come and break half, and the minute half is broken for you, you're waiting for the market to continue to the neckline. 
be careful, be, be very careful. Why? Because it might not go to the neckline. That's what I'm trying to say. It might not go to the neckline. So this is the chart now. We have our order block. This is our order block. Now from now you have to know when I need to get those order blocks. The market might reach there and fail to continue. So the first thing that you need to know is that as much as the market is at the double top, this is the second attempt, the market can violate this double top and continue to go up. So that is the first lookout. You are just checking that this market not to violate my double top. But at the same time, you'll be looking for a red candle so that you may be certain that this market has created a resistance. So let's start and see what really happened. So we get a red candle, we get a red candle. And remember guys, I said, do not do WBB on four hour. Don't come and put a box and wait for that box to be broken, no. On four hour, we wait for current support to be broken. Wait for current support, support to be broken. So if at all we won't be given a current support as at uh, where the market is, like red, red, candles, red, red, our current support guys, it is this one. So that trade will not get in unless they break half and they break the current support. We can't be able to enjoy that trade. But if at all we get a green candle uh, around this zone like that, already we have a current support because remember how is current support created? When a green candle, when a when a green, when a red candle is followed by a green candle, that's when a support is created. So you'll be look out at the moment. This is our current support. Let me vent right for you. Right now, our current support is very far. So that's our current support. Unless a green candle forms here, and then we get we get a green candle, this area should be, we can have a current support. So as we are waiting, let's see what we got. So we get an indecision, and this indecision is still red, so we do not have a current support. And then we get, we get this like a hammer or a pin bar, something like that, but it is green. Guys, do you know what we get? We get our current support. Now, finally, we have gotten our current support like that. So in this case, it's either the market breaks this current support so that we can, we can enjoy this trade, because already now this is our current support. I can now remove this comfortably. So your work is to wait for the market to break that current support. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. So we continue like that. And um, can you see what has happened? Our current support has been broken. So BOS, BOS. So even if you're entering this trade, you are double sure that this will be a successful trade. And remember, the first take profit is at the half. That is good 78 pips, guys. 78. Remember even I told people, like, be targeting even 50 pips. You are being given 78 pips or 80 pips from the uh, confirmation zone. And that's how you confirm well, even without fearing. So that trade was a good 80 pips to the half. And then once the target is hit, we will wait again. They have to be broken so that you can enter. We can re-enter. So the market starts to go down and our TP is hit. Guys, our TP is hit. It was just for two candles, TP is hit, 80 pips and you're done. So your eyes are really focusing on the half. Your eyes are really focusing on the half. And remember guys, I told you when the pattern is sharing, when the half is broken, don't be a hundred percent sure that the market will go down. No, why? Because let's see if the half, when the half is broken, and then we go to higher time frame. So you can see this candle was Monday. That's when the market was uh, broke that half. If we enter here, you'll go to daily and try to see what really happened. Uh, will the market at that end of the day, will, will it break? The, the reason why you're seeing the whole candle is because uh, you it can't divide. This is a whole day of that Monday. 
So you are your 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 the only thing you can say because this pattern is sharing. If I get in on this market at five, if I get this market and this is five a.m. By the end of the day, I need to check how the daily candle will close. If it closes otherwise, like a doji or a spinning top, anything that is rejecting this half, I may I might close that trade because now I'm not sure what is happening. So you'll get in the trade. Remember, guys, we are targeting 50 pips. So if you target to the order block, it is 245 pips. If you target only 50 pips, uh, I'm telling you, it is so easy to be hit. Most of gold takes 50 pips very quickly. So that's where 50 pips is. That's where 50 pips is. And all the way to the heart, to the to the block. Let's count how many pips to the block. 237. So you can either take to the block or take 50 pips, with whichever way you want. Whichever you want. So let's see what happened. 50 pips was hit so quickly, like one candle. You see, on um, gold, market moves very fast. One candle went 143 pips very quickly. And then after that, we can see that the market still went and hit our block. And if you can pay attention, what happened at the block, the market started to get rejected. So the problem with many people is that when they see a double top like this, They'll be so obsessed to enter the trade again, targeting this neckline. Let me tell you, if this double top uh, is sharing, it might not go to the neckline. And that's where you don't get involved. Why? Because if you waited, the market starts to go against you, to go against you, to go against you. You can see the market starts to go back because it will not complete, it will not complete to touch the neckline necessarily because this pattern is sharing on both time frames. So at the end of the day, that's what happened. And again, something that people need to understand is that whenever you have a, a, a chart like this, anything can happen. The market can go back to where it came from, go and break that zone, and the market can come down and break the neckline. So two things can happen. So for you, it is to wait for which direction the market will go. And I want to play quickly because this market has already happened and we see what we have in the moment. So what you, we have, it is evident enough that the market broke above. You can see, the market came and broke above. So it, it means that goal for my perspective is just that on four hour, we don't have an entry. From the way I'm thinking, Gold might buy. Let me show you. Now, this is current market. Gold might be buying all the way to there. And then the guaranteed profit is the half. So, gold might buy up to 2048. So, gold might go back to 2048 like that. The reason why we can't enter this trade, the reason why we can't enter this trade is because our current resistance has not been broken. So in this case, where is our current resistance? It's this one. Unless the market breaks that current resistance, that's when we know for sure buyers are willing to take this market down. But as much as we would want to buy, we cannot because that current resistance is not yet broken. If a red candle forms here, our current resistance now will be this green candle and we will continue waiting until current resistance break and then we will be able to know that really gold is buying. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope now you are able to trade gold using 4-Hour. I love you so much. Until next time guys. Love you.